In this lecture, we begin uh, presenting the theory of chemical reactions. And the key to understanding the theory of chemical reactions is to recognize that it is the electrons which are responsible for chemical reactions to occur. The most important class of chemical reactions are redox reactions and uh, elements early in the periodic table and elements late in the periodic table want to achieve noble gas configurations And when an element early in the table loses electrons, gets oxidized to reach a noble gas configuration, and an element late in the periodic table gains electrons, becomes reduced to, gain, to reach a noble gas configuration, that is extraordinarily stable and extraordinarily energetic. We can also understand the basis of acid-base electrons by look uh, react acid-base reactions by studying what happens. To the, to the electrons. And in the acid-base theory that we're going to learn, the Bronsted, and the O in Bronsted has the line through it, the Bronsted-Lowry theory, the acid is OS and has a proton. Here, I'm just drawing a single proton here. And put in chat how many electrons there are on H+. Put in chat how many electrons there are in H+. And the answer is there are none. There's my H plus. And there's no electrons in it. And here's the, it's the hydrogen 1s orbital I'm drawing right here. That's the acid. And uh, it's going to be able to re react with a base. A very good base would be NH3. Here, let me draw NH3 over here. And NH3 has a lone pair. That lone pair has a pair of electrons in it, which I'll indicate like this. And this is actually an energy scale. I have placed the NH3 lone pair lower in energy than the hydrogen because nitrogen is more electronegative. So there's the base. And as we know, acids react with bases. That's the point of an acid-base reaction. There's an acid reacts with a base. And if we just look at this, this, uh, the, uh, this H+, plus, here's my H+, plus, and it's now getting about to react. It's about to get close to this NH3. And when they get close, we'll call this one phi1, and we'll call this phi2. When the N of the NH3 and the H of the H plus get close, do they begin to construct, uh, interfere constructively? Do they begin to have constructive interference? So as the H plus gets close to the NH3, which means that it reacts with the base, is there a constructive interference? And the answer is yes. And so psi one, I'm drawing it right here, is psi one mainly gonna be on nitrogen, the more electronegative atom, or hydrogen? Put it in chat. It will be more on the lower energy orbital, so I'll make it big on the nitrogen side and smaller but in phase on the H plus side, but that is lower in energy. That's psi one. And psi two, will psi two be more like H plus or more like uh, nitrogen? Put it in chat. Psi 2 will be more like H+, plus because that's the original high energy orbital. I'll put that here. And here's a big H plus thing, and I'll make a smaller out of phase NH3. And that's destructive interference as the N and the H plus get close to each other, 
and that's gone up, gone up in energy. And the crux about why the acid reacts with the base is that the pair of electrons has gone down in energy. Psi 1 has gone down. There are no electrons in Psi 2. It doesn't matter. So again, just like in redox, it is the electrons which control acid-base reactions.